it's Creech, and today I have a really quick video, uh, but one that will hopefully be uh, very helpful for you. Uh, and so, yeah, you you finished your beat, you've got it arranged, you've got it mixed. Now it's time to export it as a wave or MP3 uh, waves. Um, I don't I don't really understand this, but apparently they uh, uh, contain more information, and they are therefore better. Anyway, just go up here to File, Export, and then you can choose uh, however you want to export them. Uh, in this case, I'm going to export as a wave, and uh, I just number my beats. So go ahead and click Save. And then here, uh, there are some settings you can play with. I always have a uh, full song here, and I personally use Cut Remainder. Um, what you do, uh, what happens really if you leave, um, leave Remainder on, which is, I think, how it comes standardly, is um, I guess the best way I can explain this is, uh, you know, sometimes like in those rock tracks and they have like the guitar playing and then after the song's over, the, gu the guitar kind of like rings out. That's basically what's going to happen when you leave the remainder. Uh, and if you don't want that to happen, it's going to cut it at where the MIDI stops. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, actually, uh, after that, uh, well, in here, you know, it'll tell you 96 bars, 3 minutes, and 12 seconds. I'll tell you how much space, and uh, I want to make sure that the wave or whatever you chose is selected here. Uh, I always leave this wave bit depth uh, and stereo, just everything. I don't mess with any of this. If you really uh, want to, of course you can. And then you just click start, and this is actually a really quick process. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you uh, hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.